Good evening, everybody, dear brethren and sisters. Drago mi je što mogu biti ovdje s vama. Također bih želio pozdraviti s one koji nas prate preko interneta. I'm happy to be with all of you this evening, and I also want to greet everybody who are following us through the internet. I kako bismo imali Bože vojstvo u ovom proučavanju, zamolio bih da ustanete za tihu mojicu. And in order to have the guidance of the Lord during this study, I will ask you all to stand up for a silent prayer. Na početku programa ćemo pjevati treću pjesmu. To begin the program we will sing the song number three. Blessed Assurance. Čitamo iz Izreka 
We read a verse from Proverbs 14:12. Neki za put čovjek učini prav, a sršetak su mu putovi smrti. There is a way that appears to be right, but in the end it leads to death. Poklonićemo se pred Bogom i zamolio bih brata Bastiana da se pomoli. We will kneel before our Lord. I will ask brother Bastian to pray. You can take your seats. Ponovio bih da sam vrlo sretan i zahvalan što mogu biti što možemo provoditi ovo vrijeme zajedno. I want to say again that I'm happy and thankful for being able to spend this time together with you. I pred nama je tema koja mislim da je vrlo važna za nas i u našem životu. And we're about to study a topic which is very important for us in our lives. I u donošenju odluka. And it is about making decisions. I zato bih prepustio so I will let Brother Ozren continue with the topic. I, I'm so happy, really, uh, to, to be looking at this growing number in the congregation. So as we're getting closer to the Sabbath, there's more and more people coming, and that's beautiful. An interesting thing is that the number of people here and here is also growing. So the musical program is beginning to wake up. So this whole seminar is dedicated to the topic which seems to be pretty broad. We're talking about light on our paths. It's very broad. And we've been covering the majors in life. So we've divided this into sections about the marriage, about professions, about religion. And this one seems to be more vague. What is this about? I ova tema nije toliko jasna, nekako je o čemu se ono ovdje radi. So this topic is in a way connecting all the other topics we've talked about. Ova tema na neki način povezuje sve teme o kojima smo do sad govorili. So to begin, we first need to build a foundation, a doctrinal foundation about what we're going to explore. I pro trebamo uspostaviti jedan duhovni temelj o i doktrinu onome što ćemo proučavati. We as Adventists, we believe in free will. Mi kao adventisti vjerujemo u slobodnu volju. We don't believe in predestination. Ne vjerujemo u predestinaciju. We believe that we have a choice. Već vjerujemo da imamo izbor. And the question here about our free will, how does our will work? I pitanje o slobodnoj volji, kako naša slobodna volja radi? And it is a very interesting concept. I to je vrlo zanimljiv koncept. And we can compare it to computer science and to machines. Možemo to usporediti sa znanosti o računalima i strojevima. Which are extremely intelligent. Koji su vrlo inteligentni. However, the will of the computers ali volja računala is deterministic. Je deterministička. Or is random. Ili nasumična. So what does it mean for the will to be deterministic? Što to znači da je volja deterministička? It means that there's a clear correlation between a cause and effect. Znači da postoji jasan slijed od uzroka do posljedica. So every time I click this arrow, I'm going back. Svaki put kad kliknem ovu strelicu, idem unazad. Every time I click this arrow, I'm going to the front. Zap, 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 very deterministic, very deterministic. Vrlo deterministic. We, we want our computers to be reliable, right? We want them to obey. Želimo da naša računala budu pouzdana i da naslušaju. However, machines can also operate on a random. This is a different way of behavior. Međutim, strojevi također mogu raditi nasumično. And this is totally unpredictable. It's random. I to je potpuno nepredvidljivo. 
So where is our will here? Is it deterministic or is it random? So you can train a computer to play chess. And it plays chess better than the humans. It beats humans. And it makes choices, right? It makes intelligent choices. But unless we program it that way, the machine is never going to decide, I'm going to let this guy win to feel better. I'm, I'm, I'm playing with a child, I'm not going to beat the child. Or the machine is never going to say, I give up from this stupid game. So the machine is deterministic or it's random. And many people believe, both scientists and Christians, that the will is in a way similar, our will. So not to go deeper into this, we believe in the free will. And when God says, choose you this day whom you will serve, it means that God holds us accountable for the choice. It means that our will can and must choose. So this was the introduction about the free will, but now something relevant for young people. I met a new friend here. I'm still looking for his head. And I asked him a question, how old are you? He said he was 18. And I said, awesome, congratulations, welcome to the adults. And he responded, I'm not very excited about it. Why? Why not? I found the head, by the way. Uh, well, because it brings responsibilities. So what is growing up? What does growing up mean? Well, it basically means that you get more and more responsibilities in your life. In your life. And having more responsibilities, you need to make more decisions and more choices. Okay. Little children don't have responsibilities. I, I have a three-year-old girl, I have a six-year-old boy. And they don't have responsibilities. They go to a school which my wife and I have chosen for them. They, they hang out with friends that we have pre-selected. They, they go out when we decide to. They, they go to sleep when we say so. Okay, my, my baby girl actually tries to push back on this. But, but in the end she gives up, so she obeys, right? So we decide for them, we make decisions for them, and they don't have responsibility. But then as you grow up, you begin to get more and more responsibilities. So at some point being, I don't know, 10 years, 12 years, you, you have a phone in your hands, right, already? So you're already making choices what you're going to click on. Right. You get more and more choices in your life. And, and then there's this crazy time of life between 15 and 25, let's say 15 to 25, and many of you are in that time span. Sorry, can we just reduce the echo, the volume? Right. So many of you are in this uh, period between 15 and 25 years old. And this is the time when you have to make major decisions. So now you're choosing your profession. You're choosing your university. 
o svojem uh, faksu. You're choosing where to go, where to live. Gdje ići, gdje you, živjeti. You choose your friends, though your parents don't do that anymore. Iz, izabirate svoje prijatelje, to više ne rade vaši roditelji. You even choose your partner, your boyfriend, girlfriend. Izabirate svoje partnere, suru, dečka. You choose your religion. Birate svoju religiju. So growing up means more responsibilities. Znači odrastanje donosi više odgovornosti. And the, even older, when you get a bit older, you're completely responsible for yourself. Čak i kad uh, postanete stari, ste potpuno odgovorni za sebe. And then at some point you become even more responsible for other people. I zatim u jednom trenutku postanete još više odgovorni za druge ljude. The, the little ones. Malene. Or if you're a manager or you have your company, you're responsible for your employees. Ili ako ste menadžer, odgovorni ste za svoje zaposlenike. Ok, so great responsibilities uh, need good decisions. I velike odgovornosti trebaju dobre odluke. And there is this interesting concept, it's a management concept. I postoji jedan zanimljiv koncept and u what, managementu. And what we're going to read now, this is not the words of inspiration. This is business advice, pure business. I ovo što ćemo čitati nije, uh, nisu citati duha proroštva, ovo je znači Čisto poslovno. So it says interestingly some decisions are consequential and irreversible or nearly irreversible. Piše da su neke odluke donose posljedice i da su nepovratne one ili way. ili gotovo nepovratne. One way doors. Uh, jednosmjerna vrata. And these decisions must be made methodically, carefully, slowly with great deliberation and consultation. I ove odluke moraju biti učinjene uh, metodično, pažljivo sporo i sa velikim, velikom pažnjom i konzultacijama. So you walk through the door. Prođete kroz vrata. And you don't like what you see on the other side. I ne sviđamo se ono što vidite na drugoj strani. But it's too late, no going back. Ali prekasno je, nema povratka nazad. But most decisions aren't like that. Ali većina odluka nisu takve. They're changeable, reversible. One su promjenjive i povratne. They're two way doors. To su dvosmjerna vrata. And if you've made it suboptimally, you don't have to live, live with the consequences for so long. You just take a look, you don't like what you see, you go back. So, so this type of decisions needs to be made quickly. Right? You shouldn't have to ask your manager, managers, 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 manager and the CEO for permission on such a decision. Just do it. Deset slojeva menadžera kako bi se učinili te odluke, već samo ih treba donijeti. So, speaking now about the words of inspiration, now we're no longer in business. I sada čitamo uh, citate, odnosno riječi duha proroštva, više nismo u poslovnom svijetu. It says here that if a man is divided, undecided, unsettled, piše ako je čovjek podijeljen, neodlučan i... da. Until he is sure that he will lose nothing, i nesmješten dok nije siguran da neće ništa izgubiti. He shows that he is a man God cannot use. On pokazuje da je on čovjek kojeg Bog ne može koristiti. So you know what this means. Znate što ovo kor- there, there's, znači. There's a group of friends, so where are we going to go today? Grupa prijatelja razgovara gdje ćemo ići danas. I don't know, where would you go? Ne znam, gdje bi ti išao. I don't know, where would you go? Ne znam, gdje bi ti išao. I don't know. <laughs> ne znam. So in the end, like, make a choice. Na kraju donesi odluku. And it says here that this is oftentimes happens in the church between leadership. I govori se o tome da ovo se često događa u crkvi među vodstvom. You need to make a decision but then like oh, I'm not 100% sure it's something is missing. Treba da se donijeti odluka, ali nisam potpuno siguran i nešto nedostaje. I don't know, I'm afraid, I'm afraid, I'm afraid. Bojim se. This, this brother is going to say something. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Ovaj brat brat će reći nešto, nisam siguran, nisam siguran. Make a decision. Donesi odluku. And uh, Ellen White says that hesitant leadership is weak leadership. Ellen White kaže da je uh, neodlučno vodstvo slabo vodstvo. And this is a very interesting one. I, I, I wouldn't expect this to find this in the book. I ovo je snažan cijeda koji ne bi uh, očekivao da pronađemo u knjizi. It says that it is even more excusable to make a wrong decision. Piše da je bolje i manja pogreška donijeti krivu odluku then not to make any decisions već ne, ne napraviti nikakvu odluku okay. the point here being do not be hesitant uh, točka je znači poanta je da ne ne okljevamo so uh, when it comes to making decisions they come from our free will kada govorimo o odlukama one dolaze od naše slobodne volje and metaphorically speaking will is a muscle 
i metaforički govoreći, slobodna volja je jedan mentalni mišić. And what do you need to do with your muscles to build your muscles? I što treba trajiti sa mišićima kako biste ih vježbali? Use them. Push. Koristiti ih. So, Burati. to learn how to make decisions and not to be a hesitant person that God cannot use, kako bismo naučili donositi odluke, a ne biti osoba koja je okljeva i koju Bog ne može koristiti, we need to make many. Moramo donositi puno odluka. And uh, there's a question, how much should we know? I postoje se pitanje koliko toga trebamo znati. And I'm not going to go into another uh, business advice. Neću ići još jedne poslovne savjete. But uh, experts are saying that you, don't sh- you shouldn't expect to know everything. <laughs> Ali stručnjaci govore da ne očekujete da znate sve. Because you'll never know everything, then you'll never make a decision. Jer nikad nećete znati sve i nikad nećete donijeti odluku. The magical number is 70%. Magični broj je 70%. So you need to gather information and then make a decision. Trebate prikupiti informacije i zatim donijeti odluku. And the Bible tells us that a, a, an assistance for us to make quality decisions and to gather information for the decisions. Biblija nam kaže da je asistent uh, za nas da donosimo ispravne odluke i da prikupimo informacije za te odluke. Is to have many counselors. Da je velika pomoć imati puno savjetnika. Plans fail for lack of counsel. Uh, nakane propadaju kad nema vijećanja. But with many advisors they succeed. A ostvaruju se gdje je mnogo savjetnika. So it's interesting. Zanimljivo je. Even though we believe that God leads us. Iako vjerujemo da nas Bog vodi. You know that beautiful song He leadeth me. Na tonu prekrasnu pjesmu On vodi me. We believe that humans around us. Vjerujemo da ljudi oko nas, wise people with experience, mudri ljudi sa iskustvom, consecrated and faithful, posvećeni i sveti, they have a role to play in our lives and our decisions. Imaju uloge u našem životu. You need mentors. We talked about this today. Trebate mentore, o tome smo govorili danas. So now we're coming to the concept of we're not using the metaphor of the doors. Uh, više ne, go, uh, ne koristimo metaforu vrata, but the path. Već koristimo metaforu puteva. So what is a one-way path? Što je to jednosmjeran put? We heard a lot about this verse yesterday from Brother Radu. Puno smo čuli o ovom stihu jučer od brata Radua. It says that there is a way that appears to be right. Piše da postoji put koji se čini prav, but the end ali kraj vodi u smrt. I, I, I remember there is, there is one poem which I like to recite. Uh, postoji jedna pjesma koju volim u subotu. I, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to recite the poem. Neću ju izrecitirati. But, but, but it begins like this. Ali počinje ovako. It says two roads diverged in a yellow wood. Dvije ceste se razdvajaju na... u žutoj, jesinskoj šumi. U jesinskoj šumi. And uh, the, the, the message of the song is that we are coming to the crossroads in our lives. I poruka pjesme je da dolazimo na raskrsnice u našem životu. And when we reach those crossroads, we need to make a choice. I kad dođemo do tih raskrsnica, trebamo donijeti odluku. And the poet here is saying, ah, I was looking down one, like looking what's happening here. I, I pjesnik govori da je došao i gledao niz jedan put, gledao šta je tamo. Using the imagination, who knows what lies beyond the bend, right? Koristio maštu, što je tamo iza krivine. But then he actually took the other. Ali je zatim uzeo, krenuo drugim putem. And then initially he thought, okay, I mean, I'll, I'll save the first one for, for some other day. I'll go back. I rekao, sačuvaj ću onaj drugi put za neki drugi dan, vratit ću se. But, but interestingly, in the next verse, he's very aware that it's not going to happen. Ali u sljedećem stihu je svjesan da se to neće dogoditi. Because a way leads on to another way. Jer put voje do dalje raskrsnica. So each of those has its own paths which are, which are spreading and spreading and spreading. I svaki od daljnih puteva ima dalje puteve koje se šire. So that is what happens in our lives. We make decisions and they lead us on a path. To je, u, tako, u našem životu mi donosimo odluke koje nas vode na nekim putem. So, speaking about one-way paths, it is important to be careful not to begin a wrong path. I govoreći o jednosmjernim putevima, važno je da ne krenemo krivim jednosmjernim putevima. So, some of the basic things which young people are facing as a challenge as well. Neki od uh, glavnih pro, uh, iz, izazova s kojima se mladi susreću are temptations with the peer pressure. Brother Adrian talked about this. Su iskušenja sa u, pritiskom uh, vršnjaka. So I mean like it's just one cigarette, just one. 
Samo jedna cigareta. It's not gonna Samo kill jedna. you. Is it gonna kill you? Hoćete to ubiti? It's just like a single tequila shot. Jedna žestica tequila. Just one. It's not gonna do any harm for you. Samo jedan, nećete ništa škoditi. Just, just, just a single party. Like, and by the way, it's my birthday. Like, it's just a single party. You can come. Samo jedna zabava. I to još je moj rođendan. Samo so, jedna. So fine, we would take the path because like there's no consequence. It's just a simple decision. I dobro, mi krenemo putem jer to je, nema nikakvih posljedica. I'm gonna make this bet or like play this gambling game. Just one. Jednom ću se kladit, samo jednom to je... But many people have experienced shipwrecks. Ali mnogi ljudi su do, uh, doživjeli brodolome. Because this one decision led to another, to another, to another. Jer je ova jedna odluka dovela do druge i sljedeće. And not all, but many of them were led to addictions. I ne svi, ali mnogi su dovo, dovođeni ovisnosti. And I'm not a doctor, but addiction is a condition. <laughs> I nisam doktor, ali ovisnost je stanje. So being addicted means it's hard to go back, right? I znači da kada ste ovisni teško je vratiti se. So there's, there's science in how to get an addicted person away from the addiction. Like it's, it's, it's in their mind and body somehow, right? Znači postoji težak put kako vratiti osobu iz ovisnosti, to je u njihovom cijelom umu. And, and sometimes it begins with a simple decision. I pone, ponekad to kreće sa jednostavnim odlukama. So, I, I just, I, I, I like this example, uh, like roller coaster. Volim ovaj primjer. And roller coasters are safe, okay? Znači, ovi vlakići su sigurni. Ha, however, uh, imagine this. Ali zamislite ovo. Like, you are standing in the line, and normally there's a long line. You wait half an hour if it's an attractive roller coaster. Stojite u redu i ako je dobar uh, vlakić, to je... Dugačak, you, you can give up at any point. You can just say no, I'm not doing this. I u bilokom trenutku možete odustati i reći ne, neću ona. You can even sit down at the roller coaster and say no, I'm not I'm not doing this. Možete sjesti na mjesto i još odustati i reći ne, ne želim ovo. But then they buckle you up. Ali onda vas zavežu. And they leave. I odu. And it's too late. I onda je prekasno. Just try, try to scream. Please let me out. Pokušajte vrištati, vikati, pustite me. Everybody screaming. Right? Save you, you don't know if people are screaming out of fear, out of excitement, out of joy. Everybody's screaming. So, so once you buckle up, it's done. It's a one-way path. Uh, I, I went whitewater rafting on the River Nile. Išao sam na rafting na rijeci Nil. And when you go whitewater rafting in Europe, USA, it's safe. I kad idete na rafting u Europi, to je laws, sigurno. Right? We have laws. Imamo zakone. It's a bit different in Africa. U Africi je malo drugačije. So, uh, there was this final waterfall which was called Itanda. Postoje zadnji vodopad koji se zvao Itanda. Which means the bad place. Koji, što znači loše mjesto. And you're paddling down the river Nile which is quiet and calm and like you're just enjoying the sunshine. Veslaten iz rijeku Nil, sve je mirno, uživate u zalasku sunca. And then at some point you hear thunder. U jednom trenutku čujete grmljavinu. It's sunny day. Sunčano je. But there's thunder. Ali grmi. And the closer you get, it's more and more loud. I što se više približavate, sve je glasnije. And then this itanda is actually dangerous. I ovaj slap je zapravo opasan. So the guys are asking you a question. Before we get to this one point, you can choose to go off on the shore and walk around the waterfalls. I vodiči pitaju, ako želite možete izaći prije slapa i obići obalom. Which many people do. Like they've done a few other falls before that, but this is the final one. Here you can choose. I znači mnogi ljudi odaberu otići pješice. And then if you choose not to and to stay, ali ako odlučite ostati, there's a few more seconds of paddling, ima još nekoliko sekundi veslanja, and then you cross the point of no return. I pređete granicu nepovratka. You, you cannot paddle back. <laughs> ne možete veslati nazad. It doesn't work. Ne funkcionira. And then you know you're going to drop. I onda znate da ćete pasti. There is, if you're thinking about the Bible, there is a story about an interesting one-way path. Ako radite o Bibliji, postoji priča o zanimljivu uh, jednosmjernom putu. And, uh, sorry, we have a minute. <laughs> Imamo minutu. So, uh, somebody, 
Let's go. Told me uh, just before this when when they when this somebody saw this picture. Kad je netko video ovu sliku malo prije. He thought I was going to talk about an interesting experience he had. Uh, mislio je da će govoriti o zanimljivom iskustvu koje je on imao. So basically there was there was you should tell this you should tell the experience. You, you do it. I'll translate. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Moj otac ima puno voćaka u voćniku. Okay, so my father has a, an orchard with many like trees. I našlo se jedna voćka se osušila. And there was one of those trees which was dry. On je rekao Igore, odi izvadi tu voćku. And he said, Igor, go and cut this tree down. Ja sam bio poslušan. I was a good boy. Uh, otišao sam, izvadio sam voćku. So I went to the tree, I took it down. No, I didn't, nisam ju sasikao, izvadio sam sa korijenom. Oh, I took it out together with the roots. Odrezao sam korijenje. I cut the roots. Kako bi se moglo to rasporediti i baciti znači, u otpad. So that we can spread it out and throw it away. Znači, napravio sam i više što se očekivalo. So I did more than my father expected. I zatim je došao moj otac. And then my father came. I rekao, Igore, ova je suha vočka. And he said, Igor, this was the dry tree. Not this one. <laughs> Not no. this one. <laughs> So what I love about this story is that it's a one-way path. Ono što volim ovoj priče je to jednosmjeran put. Like once you cut down the wrong tree, there's no going back and putting it back into the earth. Jednom kad poražete drvo, stablo nema povrat kada ga vratite nazad u zemlju. Okay, but that's not the story. That's not what I plan to tell. Ali to nije priča koju sam planirao reći. I I planned to have us remember a story from 6000 years ago. Razmišljao sam da uh, se sjetimo priče prije 6000 godina. And there was a choice to eat or not to eat. I postoji izbor jesti ili ne jesti. Come on, it's just one fruit. Ajde, to je samo jedan, jedan plod. Th- there was actually a person in the form of a snake, a serpent, saying that. Postojala je osoba u obliku zmije koja je to govorila. Come on, it's just one fruit. Ajde, samo jedan plod, jedno voće. It's actually going to do you good. It's actually zapravo, going to be good for you. Zapravo će biti dobro za tebe. And they fell. I pali su. They made a decision. Donijeli su odluku. And this path opened another path and another path and another path. I ova odluka i put je otvorio sljedeći put i sljedeći. And our earth has been bleeding ever since. I naša zemlja krvari od tada. So we, we literally, like, we're happy here, right? I'm happy. I mi smo sretni tu. Ja sam sretan. We're blessed. Blagoslovljeni smo. And often in our lives we're so blessed that we forget that this is a terrible place. I često smo u našim životima toliko blagoslovljeni da zaboravimo da je ovo užasno mjesto. Then we hear about wars. Čujemo o ratovima. Then we hear about disease. O bolestima. And then people die. Onda ljudi umru. And we're reminded this is a terrible place. I podsjećani smo da je ovo užasno mjesto. So... Speaking about um, irreversible decisions, what are they? What are the one-way decisions? I govoreći o nepovratnim odlukama, koje su to odluke? So you choose the wrong profession. Odaberite pogrešno pro- zanimanje. You do it wrong. You don't follow the principles. You don't even pray. You just make a choice and it's bad. Učinite lošu odluku, niti se ne molite, niti planirate, jednostavno je loša odluka. It's going to cost you. Košta će vas. It might be painful. Biće bolno možda. But there's probably some recovery. Ali vjerojatno postoje neka, uh, neki povratak. So uh, in, in my life I made some suboptimal decisions, I would say about my careers. U svom životu sam donio neke suboptimalne odluke. And I believe that despite my suboptimal decisions, i bez obzira na njih, I, I believe that through God's providence he led me to the better path. Uh, vjerujem da je kroz bolju providnost da me Bog vodio na bolji put. I, I have that experience. Imam to iskustvo. So this is not irreversible really. Ovo nije u potpunosti nepovratno. Or a place to live. We heard about this today. How to choose a good place to live. Ili mjesto and, gdje ćemo živjeti. O tome smo slušali danas. And Lot made a bad, bad decision here. He chose a wrong place to live. Kako odabrati to mjesto? I čuli smo i Lot je izabrao napravio lošu odluku po tom pitanju. Like going to a big city called Sodom. Sodoma it's not a good choice. Otići u veliki grad zvan Sodoma nije dobro dobro odluka. And he suffered, he lost his wife as a consequence. There were terrible things coming out of that. I on je zbog toga izgubio ženu i velike druge teške posljedice. But God's angels literally took him by his arm and dragged him out of the city. So it was reversible in the end. 
ali Boži anđeli su ga doslovno uzeli za ruku i izvukli iz grada i na neki način je ponovo bila povratna odluka na kraju. Ok, so these decisions in the end, they are reversible. I ove odluke su ipak povratne. Uh, th- there is one decision which is not. Postoji jedna odluka koja nije. I believe I believe this is the place. Vjerujem da je ovo mjesto. So I made a decision on this place. Donio sam odluku na ovo mjesto 11 years ago. Pre 11 godina. Okay. My wife made a decision 11 years ago. Moja žena je donijela odluku pre 11 godina on this place. Na ovo mjesto. And brother Peter Laušević was here. I brat Peter Laušević je bio ovdje to make sure we make a good decision. Da osigura da donesemo ispravnu odluku. So is this decision a reversible decision? Je li ova odluka povratna? Well, I, I already said that the topics that I talked about such as education and profession choice are very important. Već sam rekao da su odluke i teme o kojima sam govorio, znači obrazovanja i zanimanja važne teme. But I don't think they are the, mo- the most important decisions. Ali ne vjerujem da su one najvažnije odluke. So here we're talking about an irreversible decision. Govorimo o nepovratnoj odluci. And in the book The Adventist Home, Ellen White writes the following about for people who are contemplating marriage. I u knjizi Adventistički, Adventistički dom Ellen White piše o odlukama i mladima koji razmišljaju o braku. And it says that this step taken unwisely is one of the most affecting means of ruining people. I piše da je ovaj korak ako je učinjen nemudro jedan od najefektivnijih načina za uništavanje ljudi. Life becomes a burden, a curse. Život postaje teret, prokletstvo. A man ruins a woman's happiness. Čovjek uništava ženinu sreću. A woman chills the hopes and aspirations of a man. I žena uh, zamrzava i hladi uh, nade muškarca. And it says that from the marriage hour. I piše da je od sata braka, znači uh, ulaska u brak, that many men and women date their either success or failure in this life. Od tog trenutka uh, kreće uh, često uspjeh ili neuspjeh mnogih u životu. Pay attention to the last words. Ali pogledajte zadnje riječi. And the hopes of their future life. I nade na vje, uh, budući život. Sounds reversible? Zvuči li povratno? Sounds two way? Zvuči li dvosmjerno? Marriage is something that will influence and affect your life both in this world and in the world to come. Brak je nešto što će utjecati i na vaš život u ovom svijetu i u svijetu koji dolazi. So ask good questions. Pitajte dobra pitanja. When you think about marriage, kad razmišljate o braku, and when you think about the marriage vows, i o zavjetu braka, you're not just signing a contract with a judge. That's not what you're doing. Nije da samo potpisujete ugovor sa sucem. Right, like you can sign a contract, you can tear it apart. Možete potpisati ugovor i kasnije ga pokidati. You're making vows in front of the living God. Dajete zavjete pred živim Bogom. God does not recognize divorce. Bog ne priznaje i razvod. He does not accept remarriage. Ne prihvaća ponovni brak. So making this decision wrong is an irreversible decision. I ova odluka ako je počinjena pogrešno je nepovratna. With extreme consequences. Sa velikim posljedicama. And it says here that Once you ask the good questions, you analyze. I piše da kad pitate dobra pitanja i analizirate. It says if there are no drawbacks, there is nothing, no red flags, right? There is nothing that is uh, that seems to be indicating not to marry. I ako nema nekih crvenih zastava, odnosno pokazatelja da se ne uh, oženite, odnosno udate. Then in the fear of God, move forward. Tada se u strahu Božjem krećete naprijed. So this is interesting how it says here. Zanimljivo što uh, kaže ovdje. I know some people, I've talked to some people and they have different views and different um, world views and different opinions about this. Raz, uh, pričao sam sa mnogim ljudima i imaju različite stavove i svjetonazor u vezi ovoga. different experiences. I drugačije iskustva. Some people say 100% sure. I was 100% sure beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is the man for me. Neki kažu bio sam bila sam 100% sigurna bez ikakve sumnje da je ovo čovjek za mene. Interestingly, brother Radu talked yesterday about faith in God. Uh, 
Brat Radu je jučer govorio o vjeri u Boga. And he said that even for the faith in God, which is a foundation, God left room for doubt. I načitali smo da čak i u vjeri u Boga koja je kao temelj, Bog je ostavio mogućnost sumnje. So if there was no room for doubt, it would be looking, it would not be believing. Da nema mjesta sumnji, to ne bi bilo vjerovanje već gledanje. So we need faith and it says here in the faith and in the fear of God move forward. Znači mi trebamo vjeru. I ovdje piše u vjeri i strahu Božjem krenite se krećete se naprijed. And finally what about spiritual decisions in our lives? I konačno što je sa duhovnim odlukama are, u našem životu? Are they one way or two way? Jesu one jednosmjerne ili dvosmjerne? Now, now think about it please. Are, are they one way or two way? Molim vas razmislite o tome. Jesu li jednosmjerne ili dvosmjerne? So for example if you decide to surrender your heart to the Lord Is it a one-way decision? Ako odlučite, ako odlučite predati svoje srce Bogu, je li to povratna odluka? Do we believe in the doctrine of once saved, always saved? Vjerujemo li u, u doktrinu jednom spašen, zauvijek spašen? Which means that a truly converted person can never fall, cannot, impossible. Što znači da u potpunosti obraćena osoba nikad ne može pasti, nemoguće. We, we don't. We as Adventists don't believe that. Ne vjerujemo, mi kao adventisti to ne vjerujemo. We believe that truly dedicated people, some of them have fallen from the Lord. Vjerujemo da su neki potpuno posvećeni ljudi pali i odvojili se od Boga. Okay, so this is not irreversible. How about the other question? Znači ovo nije uh, povratno. Što je s drugim pitanjem? How about committing a sin? Što je sa počinjenjem grijeha? In general, is that a one way? Općenito, je li to jednosmjerno? Well, we know we have a forgiving God. Znamo da imamo Boga koji prašta. And God asks us i Bog nas traži da to forgive others. Da opraštamo drugima. How many times? Koliko puta? Well, at least 490 times, right? Barem 490. 7 times 70. That's what Jesus said to his disciples. You have to forgive many times. 7 puta 70. To je Isus rekao učenicima, morate and, puno praštati. And would God ever ask of you human to do more than he God does? I bili Bog ika traži od nas ljudi da vi, činimo više nego što on čini. So that implies that God forgives much more. I to implicira da Bog čini puno više. So we believe that our God is a merciful God who forgives. Mi vjerujemo da je Bog milostiv, Bog koji oprašta. So committing a sin in general is not a one way thing. God forgives, God brings us back. Počinjenje grijeha Uopćenito nije jednosmjeran put. Bog but, oprašta i vraća nas. There are some interesting examples in the Bible where, where we understand uh, um, an intriguing concept. Ali postoje primjeri u Bibliji gdje razumijemo jedan uh, zanimljiv i koncept. Will Solomon be saved? Is Solomon saved? Yes or no? Je li Solomon spašen? Yes da or ili no? ne? Well, it's interesting. Zanimljivo je. When we read the book Prophets and Kings, kad čitamo u prorocima i kraljima. It says that he sinned so much, he got so far from God. Piše da on toliko griješio, da se toliko udalio od Boga. That he approached the line of no return. Da se približio granici nepovratka. He almost made the step. Gotovo učinio korak. And then in the last moment God saved him. I u zadnjem trenutku ga je Bog spasio. And he repented. I on se pokajao. But there is a line. Ali postoji linija, granica. Do you know the story about the rich young man? Znate li priču o bogatom mladiću? The one that approached Jesus because he was curious. Koji je prišao Isusu jer je bio znatiželjan. He asked him what to do. Pitao ga što treba činiti. And Jesus told him, follow me. Isus mu je rekao, slijedi me. Now Jesus did not say follow me to everybody. Isus nije right? svima rekao, slijedi me. To some people Jesus said, go back home and testify what God has done for you. Nekim ljudima je Bog, uh, Isus rekao, vrati se kući i svjedoči o tome što je sam učinio za tebe. But to this young man, he said, follow me the same way he called Peter, the same way he called John, James, all of them. Ali ovom mladiću je rekao, slijedi me, isto kao što je rekao Petru, Ivanu, uh, Jakovu. And he said, mm, I don't know, I don't know. I on je rekao, ne znam. I, I, I'm rich. I, I ja sam bogat. Right? And is there any more direct plea we can get from God than Jesus himself saying follow me? I postoji veći poziv koji nam Bog može uputiti od slijedi me. Never in his life he got the same call again. Nikad u svom životu se taj poziv nije ponovio. And in the desire of ages we read that he continued serving the world until the end. I u želje vjekova čitamo da je on nastavio slijediti služiti svijetu do kraja. And finally there's Judas. I konačno je Juda. 
It says that at some point he realized that Christ was offering spiritual good and not the worldly good together with it. U želji vijeka piše da je on u jednom trenutku shvatio da Krist nudi duhovna dobra više nego svjetska dobra. And then he decided that Jesus would have no honor. He thought that. I on je mislio da Isus neće imati čast. And at that point, after some sermon which Jesus presented, he determined. I nakon jedne propovedi koje je Isus govorio, on je odlučio. I'm not going to unite myself closely to Christ. Da se on neće ujediniti blisko s Kristom. I'm going to stay the disciple for now. Za sad ću ostati učenik. And I will watch. I promatrat ću. I will observe to see what happens. Gledat ću da vidim što se događa. The other disciples, drugi učenici, they surrendered completely, right? With no restraints. U potpunosti su se predali bez zadrške. But he said that he would watch and he did watch. On je rekao da će gledati i gledao je. Then, after some time, there was the last supper with Jesus. Zatim, nakon nekog vremena, su došli do posljednje večere sa Isusom. And this Judas, which already determined not to get close to Jesus, was in an interesting situation. I ovaj juda koji odlučio da se neće blisko povezati sa Kristom je bio u zanimljivoj situaciji. Because Jesus bowed down to wash his feet. Jer je Isus kleknuo da mu opere noge. And at that moment, wow, something passed through him. U tom trenutku nešto je prošlo kroz njega. He felt an appeal as never before. Osjećao je poziv i apel kao nikad prije. He was attracted to Jesus. Bio je privučen Isusu. And there was a, there was a struggle. There was a struggle in his head. I poslao je borbu u njegovoj glavi. And there were words in his mouth already. He, he was about to confess. I već su bile riječi u njegovim ustima i bio je spreman da prizna. The desire of ages tells that he was about to confess I wanted to, I sold you, I, I sold you for money. Želja vijeka vam kaže, piše da je on bio spreman da prizna da je prodao Isusa za novce. But then he recomposed. Ali zatim se stabilizirao. Stabilizirao. And he said no, 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 not doing that. I rekao ne, 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 ne činim to. And after this, and after Jesus told him what you're doing, doing fast, i kad mu Isus rekao to što čini, čini brže, it says that he left. He left the upper room. Piše da je on napustio gornju sobu. He left the presence of his Lord. Napustio je prisutnost svoje gospoda. And his fellow disciples. I njegovih učenika. And at this point the final decision had been made. I u ovom trenutku konačna odluka je donesena. So unlike Solomon, za razliku od Salomona, he had passed the boundary line. On je prošao graničnu granicu. So when he closed the door to the upper room, kad je zatvorio vrata gornje sobe, the door of grace was closed. Vrata milosti su se zatvorila. There was no way the other way. He couldn't go back. Nije bilo povratka. So that means that we can cross the boundary. To znači da mi možemo preći granicu. And it says that in every age there is given to men their day or time of light and privilege. Piše da u svakom vremenu danom ljudima njihov dan svjetlosti i privilegija time of probation time of grace vrijeme probe i milosti where they can become reconciled to god gdje se mogu u kojem se mogu pomiriti s bogom but there is a limit to this grace ali postoji limit ovoj milosti and mercy may plead for years milost može moliti godinama god doesn't call just at one point Bog ne poziva samo u jednom trenutku. Some people repent and make a decision at one point. Neki ljudi se pokaju i donesu odluku u jednom trenutku. And then everybody sees that and they say, "Wow, a sudden conversion." I ona se to vide i kažu, "Wow, iznenadna promjena." But the desire of ages says that there is no sudden conversion. Ali želja vjekova kaže da ne postoji jedno jedno trenutno obraćenje. There is a result of a long and protracted process of Christ attracting us to himself. Nego da je to dugačak proces u kojem ga je Krist privlačio sebi. So this surrender happens at a moment when he makes an open plea, a more direct plea and saying follow me. Ova promjena se dogodi kad on odluči da kaže da prihvati ovaj poziv da slijedi Krista. And it says that mercy may plead for years and be rejected and slighted. Pišta milost, milost može moliti godinama i biti odbijana. But there comes a time ali dolazi vrijeme. We don't, we don't know when that time is. Ne znamo kada je to vrijeme. We don't know where the time is for us. Ne znamo kada je to vrijeme za nas. When mercy makes her last plea. Kad milost učini svoj posljednji poziv. When Jesus makes his last plea. 
kad Isus učini svoj posljednji poziv. And the heart becomes so hardened. I srce postane toliko tvrdo that it ceases to respond to the spirit of God. Da prestaje odgovarati na Bož, Boži duh. Then the sweet winning voice tada sladak pobjednički glas entreats the sinner no longer. Više ne poziva grešnika. This is a one way path. Ovo je jednosmjeran put and it's irreversible. I nepovratan je. So the Holy Spirit is continually drawing the souls. Sveti Duh kontinuirano privlači duše. And will continue to draw. I nastavit će ih privlačiti. Until by persistent refusal, dok uh, upornim odbijanjem, the sinner grieves away the tender messenger of God. Uh, grešnik odagna blagog Božjeg uh, glasnika. So there have been opportunities and there will be opportunities in your life to surrender. Bilo je prilika i bit će prilika u vašem životu da se predate. You will have opportunities. It could be in a seminar, it could be outside of the seminar. Imaćete prilika na seminaru ili izvan seminara. When you will know, when you will be convinced that God is making a direct plea to you. Kada ćete znati da Bog uh, vrši izvar, izvar, izravan poziv za vas. And that he's inviting you to surrender completely. I da vas on poziva da se izravno predate. That is a moment of decision. To je trenutak odluke. And it's an important decision. I to je važna odluka. Because we can make a mistake. Jer možemo učiniti pogrešku. So I wish for all of you tonight to experience the decision of surrender. Želim za sve vas da iskusimo uh, iskustvo predaje. May God bless us all. Neka nas Bog sve blagoslovi. Amen. Amen. Hvala bratu Ozrenu na ovim riječima. We are thankful for these messages. I na kraju ćemo pjevati šestu pjesmu. So we will close the program by singing hymn number six. Fairest Lord Jesus. Fairest Lord Jesus.
pozivam sve da kleknemo i zamolio bih brata Čongara da se pomoli. We will kneel down together. I will ask brother Čongar to pray for us.